So today we've got a new company here to the channel. It's actually been in business for about two years. I've seen the owner Juan uh, on Instagram uh, and some live streams or reels, that kind of stuff. He's always super uh, nice and humble and always smiling. and really love the vibe. And I'm happy to share with you guys today, Anointed Beard Oil Company. All right, and they are out of Indiana. Like I said, been in business two years, but welcome. My name is Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we try to help you grow your best beer possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And I've got the sample pack of oil. So I've got eight oils, seven scents, and an unscented. And then I've got an uh, one balm and one butter to share with you guys today. Had a great experience with all of that. I really like some of the scents excellent feeling beard got nothing but positive things to say so to me it's a hidden gem if you've not tried anointed uh, beard oil company like i hadn't been in the community for a long time it's a hidden gem i really highly recommend for you guys to check it out but uh, the price is an oil or a two ounce one ounce oil two ounce butter or two ounce balm are all twenty dollars i do have a brand new affiliate code i'm really happy to uh to have this partnership here uh with one and anointed beard oil company but you can use the code banjo 15 to save 15 percent on your order uh, they also have some soaps which are twelve dollars uh four ounce wash which is 14 and the sample pack of oils uh and that's not a nice size especially if you don't have a big huge beard uh, it's a nice size sample there with the dropper top. Uh, you can get uh, eight uh, for $30. And if you hit uh, the free shipping mark is at $50. They've also got some swag, some Chicago combs, all that kind of st uh, stuff as well. And a four ounce conditioner as well for $14. Uh, all right. Um, so you uh, also, he wanted me to share with you guys that if you are a military uh, or a veteran or you are a teacher, you can get a, a discount through the GovX. Uh, there's a little, little thing you got to fill out for that. So I always appreciate it when they uh, include teachers since I'm a teacher. I know I've got some more teachers uh, in my community, my audience. Uh, so you can save a little bit more uh, using the uh, GovX. All right, so let's talk about the quality here. So the quality of the oils, excellent, excellent feel in beard. I've got uh, just really nothing but good things to say about my whole experience. But the carrier oils is cold pressed jojoba, meadow foam seed, hemp seed, sweet almond, Moroccan argan, castor, and vitamin E. And it's just it's right down the middle, uh, medium for me. Um, lasts a good long time. Makes my beard feel extra good. So if you if you uh, respond well to a little bit of castor there to give it a little bit of weight and a little bit more longevity and you like the softness of the um, meadow foam and the hemp seed, you definitely want to check this out. All right. For the butter, you've got shea butter, cocoa butter, mango butter, Cocum butter. So that's like four different butters and then the carrier oil blends uh, to go in that as well. And super duper creamy, no grit whatsoever. Uh, even shipping it through the summer, I had no issues uh, with it. So uh, it's a great one to wear any time of the day, but it's super smooth. It's going to work well for you. Uh, the balm, and this is personal preference for me, the balm was more of a lighter hold since you've already got a nice uh, butter. Uh, just my preference. I like a little bit uh, stiffer um, balm, but um, it works well. It actually makes my beard feel, feel extra um, moisturized. So it's almost like a, a heavy duty butter for me in a way, but that's just personal preference. Uh, let's get into these scents. I've got seven of them to go over with you. Some really unique ones that I have not smelled anything exactly like some of these, just a couple of them I have, but most most of them I have not really enjoy them. They're kind of my cup of tea. All right. So let's go through them uh, one at a time here, the same order that they had them on the website. So the Arc, which is the, uh, also the scent I have in uh, butter, which I'll tell you works well at night. Um, but the Arc is sandalwood, Texas cedarwood, uh, aquatic cologne, bay rum, and ocean waves, and just a really good mix of things in there. So you do get kind of the oceanic vibe to it with a, a little bit of bite with the cologne part to it. And then uh, I guess also the cedar wood gives a little bit of bite. And then the sandalwood gives you a little bit of kind of the smoothness, um, a little bit of not exactly powdery, but kind of down that vein. So a nice smooth one that works well for me, like I said, at night or a night out, just anytime would work for a daytime cologne too. It's not uh, offensive. I would say most of these are uh, medium on the scent strength and longevity kind of market average on those. All right. 
Uh, next up, we've got the Barber Shop. It's kind of a traditional barber shop blend. It's fresh and clean. Uh, barber finish is what you get off of that. And this is not the Bay Rum. This is the uh, kind of sweet with a little bit of a powdery vibe to it. Not overly powdery because I don't like that. Uh, but I do like the Barber Shop if you like kind of the sweet uh, barber shop scents. Uh, next up, we've got the Centurion. And this one to me is like your um, bl uh, blood orange and cedar wood is what I get most out of that. But Centurion is... Uh, uh, it says it's a Mediterranean blend reminiscent of the Roman countryside, but it's Italian cypress, cedar wood, and Tuscan blood orange. So the cypress gives you just a hint of that kind of green mossy stuff, but it's mostly uh, the blood orange and cedar. And I love that combination. I love that kind of combination at night as well. And the butter would work well for me. All right, next up, uh, we already did that one. Uh, I got the whisper, which is unscented. And then the next up I've got is Peacemaker. And that one is a lavender, vanilla, and chamomile tea. I was really surprised at this one. I don't usually like those kind of kind of nighttime scents with the chamomile and vanilla, lavender. For some reason, I like this one. I, I could wear this one at night with no issue or any time of the day. Something, I guess it's the lavender. I guess it's like an authentic, real lavender, not uh, kind of the feminine uh, fragrance lavender because it's got like a bite, kind of like a cedar wood. So a, a real authentic lavender will give that to you. So that kind of offsets any of the kind of feminine stuff I get uh, out of some of these kind of nighttime scents with lavender in it. Really liked it. That was a surprise hit for me. Uh, next up here, I got Chain Breaker. We're going to get into some dark oud here. Dark oud, Cuban tobacco, oud wood, and then frankincense and myrrh. I love frankincense. Um, and this one, you get it a little bit, but you get kind of all the rest of the stuff as well. So it's definitely... Uh, a little bit dark, but then the frankincense is almost like a lavender in a way. At least the authentic lavender gives it a little bit more bite and keeps it from being so dark. Uh, works really, really well. Uh, highly recommend Chain Breaker. Um, next one is Oud to Joy, uh, which is dark Oud, uh, clean, excuse me, dark Oud, Cuban tobacco, Oud wood, all that stuff again. But now you got a little bit of tropical on the end. Mango, grapefruit, and tropical fusion. And I love grapefruit scents. I think grapefruit by itself goes well with uh, cologne scents. So this one um, is it, basically the, the what I said, the first three, the dark oud, Cuban tobacco. You don't get tons of tobacco on this scent, uh, but you get the oud, and then you get a little bit of the mango, grapefruit, tropical fusion. Just enough to be a little bit tropical, but not like overly tropical, like it's got to be summertime kind of deal. Not candy or, or overly sweet or any of that. All right, next up, we've got Sweet Aroma, and this is pipe tobacco, creamy vanilla, and a hint of smoke. This is probably my least favorite out of them. It's kind of like your traditional uh, old school kind of uh, tobacco vanilla scent is what you get out of this one. Pretty heavy on the tobacco. So if you really like those dark uh, tobacco vanilla scents, this is one to try. Uh, I don't like those quite as much as I used to for some reason. You know, your taste change a little bit. All right, I think I've done all of them. Really good scents, a, a little bit unique. They all smell very good, manly, a little bit sweet, a little bit um, a woodsy. Lots, there's some oud and some cologne types of takes in there. You can check all of those out. You can get all of those in the little uh, sample size for $30. Plus, you can use Banjo 15. Can't go wrong with that. Pick up a, a, a butter if you want to go along with it, and that'll probably get you at the free shipping, which is $50. But anyway, check out uh, Anointed uh, Beard Oil Company. Uh, use the code Banjo 15, and please report back here if you have tried them or if you do try them and how you like these scents. Let me know which one of these scents sounds extra good to you. And as always, appreciate you watching. We'll see you soon.